All right, we have a disk method practice problem here, and it says find the volume of the region when rotated around the y-axis, and I have a little note beside there that we'll talk about in a moment. Um, but the region we have here is um, going up to y equals 1, and is bound between the y-axis, y equals 1, and the curve x equals tangent of pi over 4y. And we said we're going to go around the y-axis. So if we go around the y-axis and rotate this thing, it'll look, uh, excuse me, it'll look kind of like a curved little funnel here, cut off, um, as we rotate it. Um, but let's see, if we're going to use a disk method and we're going to rotate around the y-axis, we're going to put everything in terms of y. So the volume will be pi, and then we'll have the integration. I hate it when that happens. Um, let's see if we can fix it. Okay, um, pi, and we'll have the integration. And the y limits of integration here looks like it's going to go from 0 at the bottom up to 1 at the top. So from 0 to 1. And we need the radius, and it comes out from the center out to the line, tangent of pi over 4y. So, tangent of pi over 4y, and remember that's our radius, so we're going to square that. So it's tangent squared of pi over 4y, and it'll be in terms of dy. So we need to integrate that, but this is where my little note's going to come in, because I don't know at this point if we've ever integrated tangent squared by itself. But my little note says the um, Pythagorean identity. Um, or at least a variation of it, tangent squared plus 1 equals secant squared. So we can manipulate that to be tangent squared equals secant squared minus 1. <clears throat> so we just need to keep the same angle in there, pi over 4y. So we're going to rewrite this. It's going to be pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of secant squared of pi over 4y minus 1 dy. And that makes it a lot easier because we know how to integrate secant squared. Now we do have a little bit of a u substitution going on here. Um, and we can do that off to the side. I'm just going to let you work on the u substitution by itself. Uh, but when we do this, we will have pi times the integral of tangent squared, is, excuse me, secant squared is tangent now we'll keep the original argument in there, pi over 4y, um, but the derivative of that is pi over 4, so we would have divided by it, so it will be 4 over pi on the outside. And then minus 1 will integrate into minus y, so let me just kind of change that parentheses to a bracket to make it look more appealing. And then this is going to run from 0 to 1. So if we took the derivative of tangent, uh, we'd get secant squared. If we took the derivative of pi over 4y, we would get pi over 4, which would cancel the 4 over pi on the outside. So you can do a u substitution with that, and I encourage you to do it um, because that's the way it should be done. Um, but for sake of time I'll, and space, I'll just leave it out. So now we need to let y equal 1, and we need to let y equals 0. So let's see what happens there. So when we let y equals 1, we will have pi times 4 over pi times the tangent of pi over 4 minus 1 here. So let me go back to the brackets. And then we're going to subtract off the same thing but with the 0. So pi times uh, 4 over pi tangent of 0 times pi over 4 would be 0, and then minus 0. So let's see. Tangent at 0, you can go back to your unit circle, but tangent at 0 is 0 because the sine over cosine, the sine is the y value, and at 0, that's 0. Um, so that will be 0 minus 0, so this whole end thing cancels out. Now over here, um, where we got tangent of pi over 4, the tangent of pi over 4 is 1, so that works out pretty nice. So let's see what happens as we push this through. 
So we'll have pi times 4 over pi, which will just give us 4 times 1, and then minus pi times negative 1, so it'll be negative pi. So this looks like it's going to give me 4 minus pi, which is not much at all um, as far as a value here. Um, less than 1, um, but it seems like we've done everything well. So let's just... Uh, Pause, and I'm going to take a look at it and make sure everything's right before I continue. All right, so I cheated and looked at the back of the book, and I did get that right. So I'm happy.